What is up, you guys? We are here. We're in the month of February. Yes, the month of February, which means it's Black History Month. So all month on Girl Meets Broadway, we will be representing, okay? We're gonna talk about African-American females in musical theater, the ones that have like changed my life. Um, the ones I've studied and the ones who've helped me kind of become a better performer in ways. And usually my list are like five people, but this list is gonna be 10. But this video is gonna be short because I'm gonna kind of like jet through them and not go into so much detail. So let's get on it. Number 10, Pearl Bailey. Pearl Bailey from Hello Dolly. If you don't know, now you know. Go research, okay? Like, I remember being in musical theater, like iconics class, and I remember sitting in class and then pulling up her video. And she started to sing um, when the parade marches by. And I just, like, my heart stopped. Like, my heart stopped. And I was like, wow. I was just so filled with, like, so much power and I know that can sound a little crazy but like it was empowering to watch her do that and so Pearl Bailey you guys like number 10 number nine Miss Stephanie Mills from the Wiz history history I just am a huge Stephanie Mills fan and she's super nice I saw her one time at the Bojangles in Charlotte North Carolina I love Bojangles and I think she liked Bojangles too. And we was there together and she was nice. And I said, hey, and I was like, I love your work. And she was like, thank you so much. And I mean, iconic. I mean, still to this day, nobody can sing that song like her. And I know people have tried and there've been multiple other versions, but nobody will ever beat that, nobody. And so big ups to Stephanie Mills, which leads us to number eight, Melba Moore from Pearly. Now, if you don't know about Melba Moore, a lot of people might know her from the movie Fighting Temptations with Beyonce. That's Melba Moore, you guys. Please listen to Pearly. Just listen to I Got Love. I mean, I Got Love was iconic. Iconic, you guys. Melba Moore was also in hair. She's like the high soprano in the original hair. Yeah, Melba Moore. If you're not with it, get with it, okay? Number seven, Adrian Warren from Shuffle Along. Number seven. What a fantastic performer, like, and what a voice, what a voice. She's so diverse, and when I saw stuff from her doing Shuffle Along, I, like, I was like, wow. Because we know her from Bring It On, which is all, like, you know, you know, cheerleading power, and I'm not, a kind of, I'm not a huge Bring It On fan, but Shuffle Along, I was like, come on, girl. Like, you deserve that Tony nomination. You really, really did, and so big ups to her. Um, which leads us to number six on the list, Patina. Miller, y'all, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't a Patina Miller fan for a long time, but then I had to get with it. I had to, you know, I had to step up to the plate, get on the bandwagon, and I got on the bandwagon, and I saw her in Pippin in 2013, and she was phenomenal. She was phenomenal. And her voice, I don't think, I don't think that musicals show off how amazing her voice actually is. You need to listen to, like, some other things that she sings at, um, other events because her voice is actually pretty dope like I'm not gonna lie the girl got she got about three four pipes in there you know some people only got two you know one dead one but she got about four good ones okay <laughs> which leads us to the person who has like 10 great pipes what can this girl not sing number five on the list Cynthia Arrivo I don't have to explain because y'all already know. Y'all already know. I mean, what a gift she brought and John Doyle brought and Oprah from the UK to America. Like, what a gift. I saw her in the color purple. She was breathtaking. She was phenomenal. And so, big ups to Cynthia Revo. Um, Which, since we're talking about the color purple, let's go down and move to number four. Lachans. Y'all already know. I'm a huge LaChance fan. I mean, she's in Summer. Also, on top of being in Summer, she, the original Team Moon in Walsh in the Silent, The Color Purple, original Seeley. I mean, she's amazing. She's amazing. She's amazing. Talk about 10, 12 pipes. That, uh, her voice, her voice, her voice, her acting, like everything. She's just phenomenal. Um, and since we're talking about Walsh in the Silent, we're gonna move down to Lilius White, who was number three, who was a soccer in Walsh in the Silent. 
Lily is white, y'all. Oh, I get warm. Like, I have a little bit of chills up my spine by all the ladies, but Lily is white. When she sings Don't Run On My Parade in that concert version of Funny Girl, like, whoa. She basically told everybody, don't get it twisted. I don't need to sing no song written for no black girl. I'm going to sing anything and sound great. And she did. I mean, she tore the house down. Okay? Let's go, Lilius. Which leads us to number two. Heather. Two. <laughs> Heather Headley. Oh. I love Heather Headley. The lioness herself. The queen, honey bee. Y'all, Heather Headley. Like, the Lion King. Aida. 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 Aida, 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 it's in the Woo! Like, I'm sweating thinking about it because I know she had to be sweating. Heather Headley, y'all. I mean, what a treat. Like, I get chills. I get chills. I'm such a huge fan of her. And so, of course, she made the list. And, of course, the number one spot on the list goes to all of our girls, all of our friends, all of our moms. All of our aunties, she got their cousin, Audra McDonald. <sighs> yeah, that, that, you don't. Even, I don't even have to go into detail because, I mean, she, she, we all know. Like we all know. We all, we all, we all, we all, we all know. And I'm such a huge fan of her. Like. At one point in my life, I was like the, her biggest fan. I kind of calmed down a little bit because I got introduced to so many other people who are also amazing. But she is just breathtaking. I met her one time. She like came and talked to me. She's like, it's okay. You can stop crying. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I don't even know if I can get it together, girl, because you're just so fierce. And I didn't even see her in a musical. I saw her in concert, you guys. So imagine if she was affecting me this much in concert. I can only imagine what she's like in a musical. And so... That's my list, y'all. That's the 10. That is the 10 amazing, amazing, amazing women. And there's so many more. There's so, so, I mean, so many other amazing women. Leslie Uggams, Jennifer Holliday, Danielle Brooks, Loretta Devon, Brenda Braxton, um, and so many more. So, so, so much more. But this is the one I just wanted to talk about today. And because we're in Black History Month, I think it's important that you know these people and you know what they've done to affect change. Because of people like Audrey McDonald and because of people like Heather Headley and Adrian Warren, Patina Cynthia, like they're changing the script. They're letting you know that like you, you can do anything. Like anything you want to do, you can do. And I don't think I would be as powerful or as passionate about this craft if it weren't for these women. They're a part of history in the musical theater world. So you guys know what to do after this. I'm not gonna sing the song. No, I am. Comment, like, subscribe. Okay, you better comment, like, and subscribe. Okay, you better comment, like, and subscribe. Okay, that little Jamaican feel. Come on, I'm progressing, I'm progressing. Yes, I'll see you next time at Girl Meets Broadway.